Hello, we are in room XFGO2 in Harrow. Uh, it's one of the four Quintin Hogg Trust funded active learning classrooms. It was designed for group work, so it has four tables, and each table has an integrated touch screen. Here's the lectern, and from this tablet, you can control every screen in the room. So I've got some content uh, which is displaying on the lectern PC and what I'd like to do now, Vincent, is push that content to all of the screens on the tables in the rooms. Can you show me what I would need to do to yeah. make that happen? So the, the system to do that is called sign up. So the first thing we need to do is select sign up on the screen. So to do that, I'll touch on this to open the tab, select this icon, and then I need to select sign up. Once it's on, the, the next thing is to send the content of, is to select the content of the PC onto the sign up system. So to do that, I just, just need to touch the screen, click on the plus icon, and then select lectern PC. So now the lectern PC is on the sign up system. Then I need to select this, which brings this page, uh, and this is the arrangement of the table in, in the room, and that's, that's the lectern position. So now the, the lectern PC image is, is there. I just need to select this and then share with all station. So now, as you can see in the room, the content is shared to all the tables. Um, to get back to the, the image of the lectern PC, I just need to select this, and that's the image of the lectern PC. You can do the, the exact same thing that I did here can be done on the touch screen. So on the lectern PC screen, and it's mirrored to all the screens in the room, is a simple diagram. It shows the names of a number of art movements. My question to the students in the room is, please indicate on your screen which of those art movements you think started around 1770. This is what I would have to do first, and then what they would have to do to do that, to complete that task. So what you need to do is to load the annotation tool. So the first thing, you need to touch on the bottom right of the screen to bring up those three dots, and then select that, and then select annotation. And now the students are on the red table, so to give those the, the annotation tool, I just need to select the red one, and they can now annotate on the screen. And they pick romantic, which is great. <laughs> Okay, so Vincent, you showed me just then how to bring up the annotation tool and, and make it available on the red table, and you did that on the main screen in the room, mm -hmm. but I can also do that on this mini yeah. touch panel here on the lectern as well if I want to, that's yeah. correct? That's correct, okay, yeah. Thank you. The active learning classroom isn't, as you might expect, all about the tutor uh, displaying content and pushing that content to the tables. It is also possible for students to display content from their own devices to their table screens. The instructions for how to do that are found on the screen, they're on the main screen behind me, and they're also on the table screens as well. So whilst I've been trying to peel my satsuma, students yeah. have been busy generating content on one of the table screens. So this, and now I've got that student generated content, how can I make that appear on the other screens in the room? Okay, so the first thing is, touch the screen to bring up the, uh, these icons and then select this. Right, so we need to get the red table to the main screen and then to share it to all. To do that, so I select, I touch on this dot, drag it to the uh, main screen, and then from there, touch that and share with all station. So now, so I've got it on the main screen as well as on all the other screen in the room. If you want it, if you wanted to send the red table to the blue table, then to do that, I'll get this menu again, stop sharing, and uh, I just need to take the red, send it to the blue, and now we've got the display of the red table onto the blue one. Okay, thank you. Thank you for watching this video. We've shown 
the main ways in which you can use this room. To find out more, go to the link in the description.